Hi everyone, my name is Sid and today I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks that nobody's going to tell you when you go to Firefly Festival that'll make your life so much easier. Um, I recently went this past weekend, it was uh, June 14th or 17th and it was really fun, it was really awesome. However, I did learn some things that would have made it better and like would have made it like easier and will help you if you're the first if it's your first time going or anything like that so yeah I highly recommend watching this video for those people that have never been to Firefly and you're kind of nervous to what to expect or like you have either never been to a festival or something like that I would definitely watch this because when I, before I went I didn't know and I'm really like I'm just really an anxious person I just wanted to know what to expect you know and I watched everybody's YouTube videos of what to bring but like everybody is just saying like the generic more like obvious stuff and I'm just I'm here to tell you like some things that we figured out like down the road that made it a little bit easier towards the end of the festival so I'm going to divide this video into three separate parts the first one is going to be camping tips the second one is going to be like general festival tips and then the third one is going to be show tips so the first one's gonna be the later you go so if you're doing like just general camping like it's up to six people um, you can park your car there, they give you like a spot, and you can get there, like, you have to go to Will Call, pick up your tickets and stuff like that, and then you get to go, um, park. We got there later than, like, at the beginning. Like, if you got there earlier, it's probably because you wanted to go see some people that were gonna play, which we did too, but we didn't get there in time, so it's fine. But, um, we ended up getting the campground about, like, 8pm, um, and because we had to sit in the well call line for like two hours so if you have to do something when you get to Dover like go to the store because you forgot something or something have one of your party members go stand in that line because it's really long um especially because those people that are going for the whole weekend and that line is for everybody it's not for just people picking up their camping passes it's for like people picking up like broken wrist like fixing their broken wristband the only one I can think of but there's other ones too just anything that you could possibly have. The later you get to the campground, the better your spot will be technically, unless you're doing like Wednesday camping or one of those like really nice camping expensive packages. Um, the later you go, they'll just tell you to find a spot in the vicinity because just to fill in what's left. Um, but you can technically go a little bit closer to the gate. If you've never been to Firefly, scope out the area first go next to the bathrooms because our camping site when we went this year was like a mile and a half from the bathrooms and it was ridiculous. It's fine, but it was ridiculous. Um, so scope out where the bathrooms is, scope out where the festival is, all that stuff. It'll help you a lot more. And then you can pretty much just pick any spot they have left because they won't be assigning at that point. They're just kind of, because not as many people are going at that point. It is better to go with a big group of friends. I went with just my boyfriend and it was fun, sure, but it's just, it's like, it's not as fun because, you know, you want that, camping is stressful, okay? If you camped with a whole bunch of friends, it would like take away from like the stress of it and stuff and it would be better. Um, if you're just going with like one other person, it's worth it to just get a hotel or something because you can't drive out of the camping the campground after you've gone in so you might as well just go in a hotel um, and you could always like you can always book it way in advance and it'll be way cheaper my third tip for camping is your tent is for sleeping um, we this year took a 10 person tent and I thought okay this is gonna be way too big because your campsite is like 10 by 30 or something I think somebody said and um, take a canopy to put in front of your tent and then your um cart in front of that it's going to be a lot better because you can hang out outside of your tent we tried hanging out inside of our tent because it's big enough but it is so hot in there during the day you don't want to be in there um and also not to be like that person but everybody's doing it they have everybody has a canopy in front of their tent um to hang out in, eat in, they have tables and stuff set up. Um, it's it would be it would be much worth it. So my first tip for that is that if you want to take pictures with the photo ops that they have there, which is like like for example, there they had one that was like a big thing of balloons that were like decorated and people were taking pictures in front of it. If you want to take pictures with things like that, 
do that in like the first two days or like in the beginning of the day. Don't try and do it at night. They're gonna be packed. You're gonna forget about them. That's just if you like to do those kinds of things. Just other random things they have around the festival like the little shops or the little volunteer places or like the sponsors like Toyota and all them. Um, do them during the daytime because not as many people are there during the daytime between like 12 and like 4. Um, I would recommend doing them Thursday or Friday because the weekend gets packed. Like Saturday and Sunday they just pack it all in with like all of the really famous people and the, everybody gets those day passes and things like that and like the locals come you know it's just it's it gets packed so if you want to do that stuff it's better to do it the first two days during the daytime. My second tip for like the festival general category would be don't take sandals. You literally, you'll regret it so much. I watched every YouTube video that everyone's ever made and they said don't take sandals and I was like, you know what, that's dumb. I didn't end up bringing them. But um, I don't regret not bringing them because your feet will get so tired. They're, um, they, I didn't bring sneakers or anything but they originally had, I originally had like semi uncomfortable shoes and then I got blisters from them the first day and then it was miserable the, like, the next few days because you're not gonna get much sleep. Which is fine, I'm just telling you. <laughs> There's just a lot of walking um, and partying and stuff like that. So you're gonna get tired, you don't wanna bring sandals. Unless you have like a serious, like, you feel like a serious, like, like flat footed person and you're just okay with sandals like all the time, it's gonna be fine. But <sighs> take sneakers or like cushioned boots. Like, boots will honestly, like, actually be great because there's a lot of dust, especially towards the end of the festival when everybody's been there and it's like, It'll, it'll help you a lot because you're gonna be kicking up the dust and then you don't get it all over your shoes and your legs and stuff like that. So yeah, don't take sandals, wear comfortable shoes. There are comfortable shoes that are cute, so I recommend wearing those. My third tip in like the festival category would be to bring a fanny pack. A lot of people are gonna have them. No, they're not gonna be super unstylish there. You're gonna totally fit in and they're gonna be so much more comfortable. Don't bring a bag, don't bring a backpack, you won't regret it. Then you can just move freely, you can dance freely, you can move your arms, it doesn't matter. You're not hitting anybody with the backpack. Um, I brought like a little, uh, what is it, like a draw, um, one of those bags with like a long strap and like it, it ends up by your hip. And it was nice, but like when you wanted to jump around, like what are you, what are you gonna do? It's just gonna swing around everywhere. Um, so yeah, honestly bring a fanny pack. That would be, you can get them sparkly, you can make them like super fashionable, like you're not gonna look weird, you're gonna look smart, so. <laughs> and you're gonna be able to have more fun instead of like being concerned all the time with like your bag and your stuff. You know? My next tip in the general festival category would be to use the free shuttle. They have, they don't have very many free things at the festival, so you might as well utilize this. Um, we were in general camping, um, so we had our car there, but we took the blue shuttle and they um, take you to overnight camping if you don't have one with the parking spot. Um, but it also takes you to like the Dover Mall, which is really close to that overnight parking. So you can go there if you forgot something, if you want cheaper food, um, like pretty much anything. They have like Payless, Sears, all those things that you could like get anything from. Um, and then around there, there's like stores you can easily walk to if you forgot something. Um, and that's really helpful because the first like two days, uh, my boyfriend's shoes like broke through so we had to go get him new ones. So we walked like a mile or two miles to get to a store with shoes, which is not a big deal. I'm not hating on exercise. I really love walking actually. But if you, <laughs> you want to conserve energy, especially when it's super hot outside, yeah, use that free shuttle. You can't, like I said, you can't take your car out of the campsite, which to be honest, is kind of smart because you don't want like inebriated individuals driving. Everything is relatively close by from there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. The next um, general festival tip is to take cash. They say it's a cashless festival online, but that only applies to the things that are like featured by Firefly. So like, if you want to take one of the like the little rickshaws that they have, or like if you want to buy something that isn't like funded by them, like you might want cash and for anything else that you want to. Which I think would be common sense, but I heard a lot of people like, oh, I don't have cash. like. 
um, all this stuff, like just complaining, and I'm like, what? Like, why wouldn't you at least bring it just in case? But I'm, I'm not hating, I'm just telling you, you should bring cash. My first tip for that is that if you don't like one of the headliners, that's very good for you. Bad thing is they don't schedule anybody else during the headliners because, you know, everybody's gonna go there. Um, and the good thing is that you can go do anything else that you want in the world for an hour and a half because that headliner is playing. Um, this year the headliners were Arctic Monkeys, The Killers, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, and Odessa. And I really only like Odessa and that group. And like I like the Arctic Monkeys kind of, but like when there's so many people there, I don't want to listen. You know, like, I don't know. Yeah, you can eat, relax, go to the silent disco. I highly recommend. It's very fun because everyone's gonna be over there at that headlining show. But if you do happen to be at that headlining show and you're trying to get somewhere else quick, you better leave like last song because like the it's gonna be a swarm when people leave there. Oh my gosh, literally, especially Saturday because they put like the biggest person on. Um, it is crazy the amount of people that like just leave. There's no space to walk. Like you're gonna get so much dust. Um, it's ridiculous. So leave <laughs> slightly early. My second tip in the show category is that it's actually better to go to a festival that has a decent lineup than an amazing one. Because nine times out of 10, they're going to schedule like all of the people that you wanna see all together. Like I had this happen like se seriously like five times this weekend. And you had to, you basically had to pick and choose cause like they're across the way like, and you can't make it to see like enough from one or the other, you know? Um, and they're usually not close to each other, all this stuff, and you, you end up having to pick one or the other. It's like, you're stressing and stuff like that. If you're a person like me, like, I'm just, like, super organized, I'm like, okay, we're seeing this person, this person, this person. You need to, like, just stress less about it. Just, like, everybody, it's a, it's a cool vibe there. Like, you just have to, like, vibe with everybody else, like, um, just pick one person, stick with it. You'll see that other person another time, don't worry. Some people, they're just, it's like during festival season, they go like festival to festival to festival. Like Odessa, they're gonna be at like three more this year. Eminem was at um, Coachella, Bonnaroo, and uh, I think Coachella, yeah. Coachella, Bonnaroo, and um, Firefly, and probably other ones too, I don't really remember. But um, yeah, that's three already so far this year. So if you don't see them now and you go to another festival, you're gonna see them then. Another tip for like show planning is Sunday night, if you're planning on leaving that night, depending on how far you live, we live in like Virginia and Delaware is like two and a half hours from here. So we had to work the next mo Monday morning. So we had to we had to leave Sunday night, which was pretty bad because that last show ended at midnight and we were like dying on the way home. But um, I would recommend pack your car that morning so you don't have to do it that night because then you can see better. Um, all those things like that, it's gonna be way more helpful. There were people packing up like everything, like after that show, not staying the night. And I was like, oh, that, that looks so rough. Like you have so much time in the morning, like the, the festival doesn't open till 12. So you have so much time to pack up, shower, get ready, whatever you're gonna do. My last tip for shows at Firefly Festival is that if you wanna be front row for one of the headliners, you need to wait at least two hours in advance, two hours. We um, wanted to be, me and my, my boyfriend and I, we wanted to be front row for Odessa and we got there an hour and a half before and it was already packed with people. And that's Odessa, it's not even like Eminem or something who like, that was Saturday, uh, was that Saturday? yeah, that was Saturday night and like that show was even more packed. I hope these things will help you when you go to Firefly next year. Um, I know that they will help me when I go in the future. But yeah, let me know if this is helpful or if you want like, any other like tips or anything like that or if you're like nervous or something I don't know I, I don't think people get nervous about these things it's just me yeah I hope this found you find it helpful I hope it helps you when you go and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching